Here we're going to look at heterogeneous nucleation, where we have a, a solid, which in this case is a effervescent antacid tablet, and this will be added to this 50 millimeter diameter sphere of water, where the water will chemically react with the effervescent antacid tablet and produce bubbles of uh, carbon dioxide gas. And these bubbles will form on the surface of the antacid tablet, and that presents a heterogeneous system where the bubbles can be popped off the surface with uh, some momentum, as opposed to bubbles that just nucleate within the body of a liquid, like when you open a, a bottle of soda pop. So let's see what happens now when this effervescent antacid tablet is added to the sphere of liquid. I hope you folks are trying to guess what's going to happen, right? What's going to happen to the role of all of these bubbles that, be, that are going to be released? I did this, I had no idea what was going to happen. I had a couple of preconceived ideas, and both of those were wrong. Well, that's what science is all about. It just goes to show that sometimes you just have to do an experiment in order to figure out what's going to happen. And, of course, what we're seeing here is the salvation to uh, zero-gravity heartburn. Now, that was so interesting. We're going to watch this again, only this time from the side of the little wire hoop. And, uh, and uh, uh, pay attention closely to the fate of the bubbles as they get generated. And what I see happening here, you see the chemical reaction developing all of these little tiny bubbles, and there's enough momentum because the bubbles are being kicked off from a solid surface for the bubbles to collide and they rapidly collapse and make bigger bubbles. And then these big bubbles start to swallow up other bubbles as the chemical reaction proceeds until ultimately you're left with two or three large bubbles with hordes of little tiny bubbles. And as the chemical reaction proceeds, it starts to slow down. There's no longer enough kinetic energy to cause the bubbles to coalesce. And here you can see we basically have two great big bubbles that form this bipolar arrangement that seems fairly stable. Uh, a situation like this will last for some time unless it gets popped. And here all the little bubbles have been pushed in the spaces between the two big bubbles. Now, and there, the, uh, one of the bubbles was uh, popped, and so now we have a sphere it's basically hollow inside. It's a big gas bubble inside. It's got some thickness to it uh, with uh, a whole bunch of little tiny bubbles swimming around. And this was so interesting, I thought we could watch this again. This is a different tablet, and you can see that the contact wetting angle just sucked it out of my fingers. As soon as the, the tablet made contact with the water, uh, it was just sucked out of my fingers the bright inside of the, the the sphere of water where the chemical reaction proceeds. And you can see that uh, rather large bubbles form quickly, and once a large bubble forms, it sits there and swallows up all the other bubbles, and it in itself growing larger and larger.